newspaper like Washington Post. Call me a dictator. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev. Azerbaijani President Ilham Aliyev has accused the U.S. media of bias against himself and his country. Addressing the Global Media Forum held in Shusha City on July the 20th, Aliyev said, Can you imagine a newspaper like the Washington Post publishing dozens of editorials about Azerbaijan calling me a dictator and a sat trap? Aliyev quoted former U.S. President Trump as saying that Washington Post and the New York Times were fake news. Furthermore, the Azerbaijani president said he was disappointed with what he described as the current U.S. administration's one-sided approach towards Azerbaijan, as well as the attempts to build dividing lines in the Caucasus. In particular, he mentioned the attempts to finance Armenian military buildup through the European Peace Facility, saying that the move was against Azerbaijan and was unacceptable. We openly, sometimes publicly and sometimes privately, deliver the message that Azerbaijani interests in the Southern Caucasus must be observed. If anybody wants to ignore our interest, it will be a mistake, a miscalculation, and a Again, a disappointment. So I hope that changes will occur regardless of the outcome of the presidential elections, the Azerbaijani leader said. Aliyev suggested that anti-Azerbaijani initiatives in the U.S. were motivated by the presidential election campaign. They need Armenian votes, and that might be the reason they do these things. Aliyev expressed hope that there will be more understanding in Washington and Europe about Azerbaijan regardless of the outcome of the U.S. presidential elections to be held in November. The fact that we do not advocate for ourselves and do not make a show doesn't mean that we don't have potential. We have it. This potential can be used for common good purposes, for consolidation and for partnership, not for demonization. Aliyev went on to say, A newspaper like Washington Post published dozens of editorials, editorials about Azerbaijan calling me dictator, satrap, I don't know what else, maybe Hikmet knows, he has all the, all the files. Putin is in a hurry and is trying to throw all his resources into the war. Former advisor to the US Secretary of State, former director for European and Eurasian Affairs at the US National Security Council, Matthew Breizer, said that Russian leader Vladimir Putin is trying to achieve as many results as possible on the battlefield before an important date for him, the US elections in November. I'm not sure that they represent a specific deadline for him, but Putin really hopes that if Donald Trump wins, Ukraine will be forced to sit down at the negotiating table with the Russian Federation and accept his conditions. From his point of view, after Donald Trump becomes US president, support for Ukraine will decrease significantly. Accordingly, this will give Russia a chance to avoid defeat. However, there are also specific internal deadlines because of which Putin is in a hurry and is trying to throw all his resources into the war. No one knows for sure what is really happening in Russia. He added on air at Espresso. According to the diplomat, Russia currently produces three to four times more ammunition and basic weapons than the Americans and Europeans combined. However, the situation is gradually changing. The US and EU have allowed their defense companies to reduce their capacity. However, the situation is actually starting to change. Now, for example, German defense companies are noting that they must produce more ammunition and weapons, whereas before this was a political taboo. Gradually, American and European factories are starting to produce more weapons. Breiser concluded, The Telegraph recently wrote that a vulnerable Putin is waiting for Trump to give him back the occupied territories. Politico reported that Trump and Putin are bargaining over how much Ukrainian land Russia can keep. Harold James, a professor of European studies at Princeton University, believes that Donald Trump's defeat in the presidential election could ruin Putin's plan for Ukraine. At the same time, military and political observer Alexander Kovalenko believes that Trump can provide more significant support to Ukraine than Biden. According to him, Donald Trump is a vain, narcissistic person, and if he wins the election, an unprecedented historical prospect will open up for him to become one of those presidents who would be involved in a victory on the level of World War II and even in the context of confrontation. Ukraine's Magora V-5 drones caused over $500 million in damages to Russian naval assets. Russia cannot use the remnants of Ukrainian naval drones to create similar ones as the country's best engineers have been developing them, stated Yevhen Yerin, a representative of the Ukrainian Defense Intelligence according to Ukraine Form. Previously, the Polish political science and security studies journal named a Ukrainian combat naval drone, Magura V-5, the most effective during Russia's all-out war. 
The Magura drones hit 14 Russian ships and destroyed eight of them completely. The Ukrainian intelligence agency said the targeted ships include the Ivankov's Russian reconnaissance ship, the Sergei Kotov patrol ship, Akula and Serna landing vessels, the Ivanovets missile ship, the Caesar Kunikov large landing ship, and various types of Russian high-speed patrol and landing boats. Enemy attempts to use the remnants or other parts of these drones to create its own drones are unlikely to succeed because the engineers who created the drones must be experienced and the best in this field. Work in this direction has been ongoing for years. Our developments prove their effectiveness and we are among the best. So it is unlikely that the enemy will be able to replicate anything like this, but they will try, Yerin said. He also believes that even if the Russians create their own naval drone, it will be what Ukrainian specialists made the day before yesterday. Because we are moving forward, developing and improving our weapons. Yerin noted adding, however, that the Russian military should not be underestimated. The topic of drones, including naval ones, is not new, but the current war has demonstrated their decisive significance in conducting combat operations and achieving success. Our drones have shown themselves in the best way, the main Directorate of Intelligence representative noted. Overall, the damage inflicted on Russia by the Ukrainian intelligence operators with Magora V5 drones is estimated to be over $500 million.